triple D. Yep, Dallas, Texas, to be precise. Oh, clear, where to be on the block? Pushing, shooting dice. Wanna try them, they'll up that thing, boy. It won't be twice. Send the trap, 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 hard all day and all night. Get it by any means necessary. Out the mud like a gopher, they dig it. Everybody gon' eat, so everybody grind hard. So the work they flipping. Won't miss a quick lick in spot. They'll hit, got feed, they kid, so they stay moving them bricks. Keep the stash at the crib or in the glove or the wheel. And the chicks that be in the mix will strip just for them chips at the club. They be so lit, fresh outfit, ice out on drip. Won't stop, nope, never quit, so they risk them board trip. It's a lot going down in the trap, but still a lot of good in the hood. Guys can not slack, won't ease up. We stand when he sent Jesus. It's so real, it's the jungle. Gorillas, no glue, lace frontal. That's a hundred, no fraud, but Jesus Christ, King and his Lord. It feel real good, mommy, through the hood, don't it? Don't good peeps, good food, good fam, and the cuts in the clubs and the traps, stay rolling. But God love the trap. Maybe you heard that he lame. Don't care what you heard, he ain't with that song, gang, gang. Go to church if you scared how you figure. Keen them hitters, we pulling two tricks. Maybe you heard that Jesus people weak.
nation. Want our communities back. Let's take the nation. Are you ready? Because now is the time. Let's let these haters know that the devil is alive. I ain't never gonna be. I told me to be. I ain't never gonna that's what he told me, and then we got up in the rain. See, I have to fight for my life. I have to fight as a wife, have to fight through the strife. But my God be with me so nice. He gave me a spiritual fire to be my strike. But I'm casting out on a word play. Out of enemies hate, I leave no escape. Standing out, standing ground. I got my faith and I receive my crown. He'll forever be mine. That's what he told you. You fell for his last but you're prone to. But you gotta keep on kicking heel on you. Cause you're a child of the king. Cause he loves you. Really testing and it's becoming my mindset. Yeah. Yeah, they got that heat. <laughs> ah, they got that heat, y'all. Yeah, man. Indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, y'all just yeah. here. Yeah. We got a special treat for tonight. Welcome to the R&B Hook, a Truth Be Told Flesh Podcast Extra. I am your host for this evening, Ayo Ben Yahoo, and we got my op, my guy. Mr. Judah himself, should you shoot in a bit? How you feeling, man? Oh man, look, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm 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 doing good considering. Real talk, I, I'm doing good. I'm gonna tell you the great set of the most high is awesome, man. Um, man. Okay, so we went on break, correct? Right. We on break, y'all. If everybody yeah. we went on break, yeah. and when we went on break, we went on break. If people knew what it take to do what we do. I think they will probably respect it a little bit more. It's not easy. It's not. It's not easy. I, <laughs> it's not easy. But but hey. But we here. The Most High's blessing. Yes. And uh, we got man. We like like the Ox said. We got some heat in the house tonight. It's gonna be great. So you know. Yeah. It's 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 gonna be awesome. Yes, sir. Glad you uh, all can make it tonight. We are streaming on YouTube live. We are streaming. They give me the thumbs up already in the building. We ain't even got started yet. That's what I'm talking about. We are on Facebook live, not on the Sire TV streaming live this evening. And once again, like she just said, uh, the regular Truth Be Told Flex podcast show was off this past Wednesday, but uh, great, awesome job uh, with the spring break mix show with a lot of great music that Yasharal has to offer in our artists. Uh, hopefully we have another one coming up this week and we will be back on the regular show, not this coming week, but the next week we'll be back Wednesdays, 8 30 every Wednesday, Eastern time. Until we take another break. Until we take another break. That is. <laughs> until we take another break. <laughs> yeah, but they're like, I'll just say it, man, these breaks, you know, it's, Putting things together, it, it can get tough. But yeah. nevertheless, the grace of the most high is here in the building. And again, we got a great show um coming up for you tonight. We have an uprising, rising group in the gospel uh hip hop community. Um, I wanna say every maybe everybody in the group is from the DFW area. I could be wrong, but uh everybody hit the like, everybody. Uh, give a warm welcome. Uh, they are on the cover of the Christ Life magazine for Crew of the Year. Everybody, uh, I had a pleasure to meet them at the Drip and Sip. We got to uh, meet them at the Drip and Sip, and JOL is a part of the group. We've been knowing him for a couple years now, but we are excited to have Harvest Digi Music. We got Miss Chosen, Miss Harvest, and Miss Danielle Speak. Everybody give a warm welcome to Harvest Stitchy. Let's get it. All right. Uh oh. Oh, my bad. I, yeah, I'm trying to help you out. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show, everybody. We're glad you guys are on. We are excited to have you on. Um, glad you can make it. Hopefully, uh, we'll have Miss Danielle Speaks. She is backstage working on her sound. Uh, also, we'll have uh, maybe DJ Yoel. Mr. Bridges will join us in a little bit. But for the meantime, man, we got Miss Chosen, Miss Harvest. How y'all doing? What's up, brother? How you feeling? Man, I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Glad to have you guys on. We're excited. And we just heard, listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and start off like this. <laughs> that Truth Triggers and the yeah. other, the mix that we just opened with, y'all. Yeah. When I first heard them two joints a couple months ago, I was like, yo, I. Yeah. I got to get up on my on my harvest edge of music a little bit more. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know what, yo, y'all, I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to say this, y'all kind of remind me the four of y'all. I don't know if everybody remember. I know Diddy getting bad press now, but y'all, everybody remember the band. Now, yeah, uh, yeah. Now yeah. the band wasn't saved. Y'all saved. So yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's get that understood. Let's, let's, let's get that understood. They wasn't saved, but y'all say, but y'all kind of remind y'all got that flavor. And um, I'm I'm excited to have you guys on. So before we go any further, um, if you guys want to introduce yourselves to our Truth Be Told Flex podcast audience, since this is the like the official first time we've had you on. Um, let us know your name and what area you're from, and then we'll we'll move on. Uh, I guess Miss Harvest, you can go first. Well, what's up, everyone? My name is Harvest. I go by the name of Harvest. I yeah. am born and raised and from the Dallas Fort Worth area, from a place yeah. called Oak Cliff, Texas. All right. Um, <laughs> but D Town is my home. Never lived anywhere else. Um, I'm the CEO of Harvest G Music. I am a gospel, Christian, truth, kingdom, rapper, singer, worshiper, minister, and I just love oh, God. Wow. And so that's my Come spiel, on. y'all. There it is. Oh, praise There it is. And Miss Chosen says you can, she's going to introduce herself, y'all. All right. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I go by the name of Miss Chosen. I'm just a willing vessel to be used for the glory of God, use my gifts for the glory of God and serving others. Um, I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I'm a minister of music. As y'all can see, I sing, I rap, all for the Lord, um, Christian gospel, CHH, whichever. I prefer to it as a testimony of music because I love to tell my testimonies through my music. Um, yeah, but that's me, y'all. Yeah, that's me. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let, well, let's stay right there uh, for a second. Miss Harvest, um, being from the DFW area, let's start off and get a little bit of background. Did you grow up in church? Were you in? Have you been in church all your life, or off and on? You know, okay. my great grandmother, you know, was like one of the mothers of the church. You know, church mothers. Yes. And she helped my mother raise me, right? Because she raised my mother. Right. Long story. So of course, you know, I remember going to church at five, and you know, it was sporadic because my mother at the time she wasn't deep in the church. Mm -hmm. So you know. There was years where I lived with my great grandmother, where I was going to church seven days a week. Yes, eating, breathing, sleeping <laughs> church. We had three services on Sunday. That was I that type of church. And then yes. when I got older, my mother, you know, <laughs> I went with my mother, lived with her. wasn't as consistent, but my mother wow. got in church, and she was back and forth. And so, you know, it's it's been consistent, but also a back and forth thing growing up in church. Wow, 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 wow. And I can attest, my grandmother right now, my mother's my mother's mother is a mother of the church, sit on the front <laughs> row with the hat. <laughs> the hat. Missionary yeah. Sunday, all white. Make sure you wear your all white for the usher board meeting and everything. So so I, <laughs> I can attest to that. So what about you, Miss Chosen? What's your testimony? How like did you grow up in the church? Did you like did you start singing and rapping at a young age? Did you know mm -hmm. you had it? Did it come mm -hmm. later? Uh no, I um I didn't grow up in a church per se. Um, I definitely didn't. My mom, my uh, my dad, my parents, and uh, some family friends, they uh, did secular music. They did covers mm. of like In Vogue, you know, mm. 702, uh, Osley Brothers, all of them, and they traveled. Um, they were very well known back in the day. So we come from the old school, you know, type of living right, in, you know, right, South Side right. of Chicago type of deal. Um, 
that's where I'm originally from, but I, I am here in nice. DFW area now. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I, yeah, I don't necessarily come from the church, but the Lord did um, give me an encounter with him at a very young age, like grammar school. And, yeah, like I've really? always known, um, like through that encounter and just through the music that my parents did, um, I've always been singing and, and dancing and playing around with rap. Um, okay. As I got okay. older um, and everything, just to fast forward, y'all, because I can talk. <laughs> just to fast forward, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Harvest, no. This is where you want to talk. Go ahead. It's your right. Go ahead. Right. Exactly. You know, but, no, for real. But to fast forward, though, um, to my younger years is when I began to use my gifts more so for the Lord, um, like my teenage years, is when mm. I began to walk more into it. I was baptized by the age of 12. Uh, but I've always had like some type of intimate relationship with the Lord. Um, it has not been a perfect walk, y'all. I have been through so much in life. And for those who have been following me, you know, since I have been doing this thing um, with the Lord, know, you know, some of that history. Right, but right, yeah, right, y'all, right. it is, it will never be an easy walk. But wow, right, right. That's kind of right, like right. a little bit of my background. Awesome, 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 oh, awesome. Well, it looks like we have her in the building. I, we, yeah. They have had some technical. <laughs> Difficulties, but Miss Danielle speaks. Please. Welcome to the truth be told. Let's pop. Welcome, welcome, oh, welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. You can breathe. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Man. We, hey, we, we, know the now. we we know the feeling, trust. Yeah, trust. Oh my goodness. Man. Man. <laughs> for you guys that don't know, like I've actually been backstage for like 20 minutes right, with right, no right. problems. <laughs> and then yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. when it started, everything shut down. Yo. Right. Yeah, we, we, uh, we okay. see you yeah. can tell you all about it for about <laughs> a while. I don't know, four, three, four months. It was Man. smooth sailing until we hit the go live. And then all of a sudden, we froze. Everything the show was on the verge of being canceled. We really? were just gonna throw. Really? We were about to wrap it up and just throw it in the trash. <laughs> <Yeah, just, laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. We are here. Yeah. Glad to have you, Miss Danielle. So, Miss Danielle, I, if, yes. if I'm if I'm correct, you're not in Texas. Are you in South Carolina? I am in South Carolina currently. Okay. Yes. Okay, another South Carolinian in the building because I'm I'm in South Carolina as well, and okay. I know Jay had mentioned that. Uh, last month, and I was like, for real, because I, I thought, again, I thought everybody was from Oak Cliff, because uh, I don't know, Miss Harvest, if you remember, Sheer is from that area. You from Oak Cliff? Uh, yeah. No, nah, I ain't from Oak Cliff. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, my no, 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 Hey, I mean, me either. Me either. Oh, I'm from Pleasant Grove. I'm from Pleasant Grove, Harvest. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said you can hurry up and say, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah no, no. Don't, don't put that on him. Don't put yeah. that on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, Miss Daniel, yeah. um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, when did your walk uh, with uh, Christ start, and when did you? know that you wanted to really truly sing and uh, you know just give us a little bit of your uh, your background yeah. and introduce yourself to the people uh my name is daniel speaks my walk with the lord started very young like um six years old i was just chasing after god i was all, mm. always one of those kids wow. that everybody else sat in the back and like the teenagers and everybody was making noise they had to they had to come get me to get me off the front row Wow. Because okay. I wanted to hear um, what was being said. And th then even in Sunday school and Bible classes, I was always the one with the questions like, why mm. does this happen? Why does this happen? Why come we don't talk about this, but we talk about that? So I always had these questions. And then uh, at, at eight years old, like I stalked my pastor until he baptized me. Like, bro, mm. we about to do this. Right. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. But I know this is what I want to do. So for six months straight, every time the doors was open, yeah. I was in his office. Hey, sir, uh, remember me? I like to be baptized. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. wow. I was on him. And finally, the week after my eighth birthday, mm -hmm. he pulled me in his office. He asked me why. I was like, I know I, I need Jesus in my life. I know what this represents, and I want it. Like, wow. I, I don't want to just skate through heaven. 
I want to stand in heaven and know I'm there. Wow. So let's do this. And he wow. baptized me the week after my eighth birthday. And I, I just, wow. I, I knew I was different. Like there's people now who, who, who see my parents and say, they're not surprised about my walk in Christ because I was never like everybody else. Like I didn't go to all the parties. I, I, I found out, I found out in my high school years that the only reason they invited me to the club was to be the designated driver. And I didn't yeah. even know it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know. I didn't even know. I thought I was good company. This thing I know. I didn't find out until I got in college. They was like, yeah, like yeah, we only invited you because you don't drink. And uh, we needed somebody to get us home. I'm like, oh man, that. So, so that 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 was me. Like, I just was not that type person. I was always in the God. I was always in the music. Jazz and orchestra has always been my passion. Mm -hmm. To be able to move people without a a a, a verse, mm -hmm. I was like, man, mm -hmm. like, how do you do that? Like, how do you create emotions? How do you pull things from people without mm. saying a lyric? That's so, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that has been my passion. And then, um, I grew up in the choir, mm -hmm. always singing because that's just what okay. we do. That's and, right. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then from there, I, I actually I did a stint in secular music, um, mm -hmm. because I thought that was the what I needed to do to make it. I was like, oh, I need to do secular music. I'm just right. going to do I'm going to be positive, do conscious music. Right. And God was like, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. Um, and he, he switched it up, and I've been writing for him ever since. So I, I span between spoken word, singing, and um, uh, CHH, but mm -hmm. my roots are still jazz and orchestra. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Powerful testimonies, man. That's Wow. So you, before I throw it to Sheer, I do want to ask y'all, before I throw it to Sheer, powerful testimonies from all three of you. It's like different walks. And I want to, where did y'all meet? When did, when, and where did, how did y'all meet? How did y'all meet up? And I, I'm sure there's a yeah, testimony that, in that itself. Yeah, that was one of my wow. questions. Yes. Okay, okay. See, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Te technically, I haven't even met them yet. Technically, if you want to just throw it out there. Exactly. Technically, I haven't met them yet. What? Just throw it out there. Let, let, hey. See, I, I met him in the spirit. There you go. Hey, wow. That's how the spirit moved. Because listen, from y'all's music, and like I said, I compared you to the band, you know, Diddy's old band, making the band, because I could mm. already see, before I even heard your testimonies, I could already hear how each testimony and each walk, how it truly makes the flavor of mm -hmm. your sound. And how yeah. you've created the sound. So, with that being said, if you wouldn't have never, I would have never thought. Never known. I thought, yeah. like I said, I thought y'all all lived together in the DFW era, meet <laughs> right. up three times a week, right. have practice, right. y'all right. sing, create harmonies, write studio time. I didn't see. I was very known. family oriented. Right. Very, very family I oriented. That's I oh that. boy, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so technically, you haven't met. So when was your? So when was your first recording? Like when did y'all? When was your first release? harvest? Harvest, yeah, throw that and go ahead, boss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, initially, when when the Lord gave me the vision for her G label, um, you know, I had my plans, right, in regards to artists and people that I wanted. Um, but the Lord, He knows and He establishes our plans and He knows, right? So um, I asked God, I said, Well, Lord, Send me the people that you want to be a part of the label initially, and it would all it's gonna always be a, a centered label where I want to provide a platform for women, mm. right? Um, but the Lord told me to open it for men as well, but still the found our roots is gonna be to provide a platform for my sisters, you know, in CHH and gospel music. So it's always gonna be a label that's that's gonna have more women because I believe that's what God has called me to with, with the label. All right. Okay. Um and so I asked, I said, well, Lord, send me to the women you want. He knows me. I throw that out there. He knows me. I am very big on humility. Yes. I am very big on humility. I've worked yes. with churches, organizations, groups, and I've seen very talented and gifted people but not reach where God wants them to be in his kingdom because of pride arrogance. and arrogance, not being teachable, and just not keeping an humble in the spirit of humility, a mm. posture 
spirit of humility. So I'm very big on that. So the Lord knows that. And so he led me to these two awesome women of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what and about. and 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 so what God is placing them stood out to me. Of course, I didn't know them. Miss Chosen was here in DFW. I found <laughs> her on Instagram. Wow. Literally. On Instagram, literally, I ran across her. I said, She's in DFW. I thought I knew everybody in CHH and DFW. I never seen her. I was shocked if it was someone. Like- I didn't know. <laughs> you know, because I've been in, I'm like, you know. She got bars. I was like, oh, she's a yeah. she bars. What I started looking and checking her out, following her on Instagram, and, you know, doing A and R, just looking, trying, watching her videos. Right, A and R work because you could tell a lot about what people post on yes. social media. Right, absolutely. And I'm big on representing the kingdom well as well. Right, I do believe yes. that we have to try our best to live above reproach because of the yes. king we represent. Yes. And that means in our living and what we put on social media. So I look at all of that. So yeah, I, I, I definitely stalk both of these women's social media for a little while, y'all. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. That's wow. Yeah. And that's, that's see, again, I, I would have never known. I thought y'all was three years into this thing. And again, in the hip hop, Christian, and gospel community, I see you guys rising. And mm-hmm. Before I throw it this year, I like I said the other week when y'all were on, I want to apologize that I wasn't on, on your music before. Yeah. And again, uh, yeah. somebody in the chat, I think it was my wife who said, uh, are y'all gonna play uh already won by Miss Chosen? Cause yeah, uh, yeah, we, yeah, that's one of the songs that's on yeah, the I told her she had to stay locked yeah, in to see. Yeah, gotta stay locked in, yeah, to, stay <laughs> locked in <laughs> to see. Yeah, so you gotta stay, but I, you know, and uh, but she go ahead. That's that was powerful. Yeah, testimony. I, I she to uh, Harvest Harvest said something. Um, and well, okay, no, I'm not going to give a two point question. My wife got on to me about that. She said, Ask the question and move. So, but you said something though, right? You said that there will always be more women in the group. All praises to that, but I, I have to ask, how did DJ? Yo, L, how did he come about in, in the group? How did he fit in the situation? <laughs> okay, and before I, and before I go to that, I want to go back and backtrack a tad. Shout out to my partner, Martin Christie, who's in Florida. Actually, I mentioned Danielle to him. Oh, okay. And he reached out to Danielle for me. I mentioned him to, mentioned Danielle to him to look at her for me because Jay, J.L. Judah, me and him been rocking together for years, but him and Danielle go back further than me and him. Wow. Oh, okay. I first heard Danielle um, when they did a song together called Be You, I think Beautiful. And she did a feature with him years ago. And I was like, oh, she's super dope. So ever since I heard her, okay. I've been mm-hmm. rocking with her. And she's been an artist in my, my, my mind and my spirit, right? So it's wow. like, she's super dope. Um, So when I started, when the Lord gave me the bench for the label, she was definitely someone that popped into my mind. I went and looked at her on Instagram and followed a little bit more closely. Asked Martin what he thought about both of these ladies, of course, because I, I do believe you got to have wise counsel and let things be established. Exactly. You know, witnesses, yes, right? Yes, I, I'm yes. a better believer than that. I've learned the hard way. And so once he prayed about it and looked at them as well, he was like, yeah, Harvest, they, I think they would be awesome, a great fit. And so he reached out to her for me. I reached out to Miss Chosen. We've just been family ever since now. Jay, me and Jay go back some years because we was a part of a group together here in DFW, DFW Light. And when okay. I met him, okay. immediately sink because of his spirit. He has mm-hmm. a, a spirit and a heart. That he does. Yes. And there's very Absolutely. few people I've met in my life that has the the spirit that he has. Right. Absolutely. You right. Know, just, and he's consistently. Mm-hmm. You know, right. you might have some that's like he's consistently like that, right? Absolutely. And it's just a breath of fresh air uh, for me. And so, I me, mean, he's my boy. I love Jay. And so, how he got to the label, brother? Actually, he came on board as our official DJ. Okay. So he, he wasn't. Wow. He, he didn't come on. And board what? As- what year was this? Last year, bro. We, you know what? We about to celebrate our first year anniversary. We haven't really. It hasn't even been a year yet. Yeah. That's totality. That's with the whole group. A year. So, so how old is the label? <laughs> <laughs> wow keep, yeah keep going yeah <laughs> so this is all new really everything is new wow yes. 
And and they smiling. I uh, can you see that? That's look. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what look. I'm saying, man. Like look, they smiling. I feel they like I'm smiling. sitting here talking to my grade school uh sisters that you know how everybody went to college, but then we meet back up somewhere in the church or whatever, and then hey. like that's like for real, like seriously. Right. Like and right. that's what I, I that's why I was truly looking forward to this interview because I, I when I met y'all briefly at the Dripper Sale, because you know, I, everybody was moving and shaking, and but I knew I said when we had them on, it's going to be truly exciting because I just felt like I I knew y'all, mm-hmm. um, and even with Jay, you're well. Like, like a couple years ago when we met, or last year when we met, I felt like I've been knowing him forever. Like he mm-hmm. felt like one of them dudes I played ball with, went to college, forgot about each other, whatever. Then oh man, what's up? So that's awesome. You guys are coming up on a year. Um, I would have never known that if you if you would not have said it. So uh, before we go to music break real quick to, to Danielle and Miss Chosen. So what did y'all think? What did y'all say when Harvest reached out? Like, what was your initial response? Danielle, hey, I, I got to be honest. Oh, go ahead, I got to be Chosen. honest. Yo, like I got to pray. I, I'm look. I'm a praying person. I pray about everything. Sometimes we might be in the middle of a conversation. I, I'm probably zoned out because I'm praying about something. Right, I definitely. I, I had to pray about it though. She definitely reached out to me in a, a very warm, um, man, spirited, just different. I'm like, Lord, something different about her. Yeah, 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 <laughs> something yeah. different, you know. Something wow. different. I'm like, okay, God, you know, because I've never been into. Oh, I want to be a part of a label. I want to be a part mm-hmm. of the limelight. That's why you don't see me out there like that, you know, really till this day, because I was always about like street ministry. And honestly, I just believe that God just had me on a different, you know, on a different path, mm-hmm. you know, but now mm-hmm. it's the season for something new. Right. So when she reached out to me, I just had to go pray about it. And then we met up and I was like, man, God, look, wow. look are, you do me yes? are you telling me no? Are you telling me yes? Are you telling me no? Because I'm like, yes, but I'm like, look, I'm gonna have to hit y'all back. Let me make sure and confirm. <laughs> Yeah, y'all know I'm married, I love you. it. You know, I got to talk to right. my husband. That's you know, right. That's right. 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 Yeah, right. Yeah, that's pretty yes, much yes, how yes. it happened. And, um, okay. we we had our meeting, met up with Martin, and everything, and it's been up ever since then. Wow. Wow. Love it. How about mm. you, Miss Danielle? What did you? What was your first initial thought? What did you think? No. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Look, but hear me out though. But hear me out though. I have had four recording contracts, including the mm. one with the major, and, and I mean well-known major mm. secular uh, the mm. company. And like I've been involved in contracts where the splits was just crazy, or yeah. you know we started one way and then it ended another way. So when I parted ways, I was like, I don't want any more contracts anymore. I want to be an independent artist because I'm not going to sit here and let a company dictate what God does. Amen. Amen. You, you, you're not going to do that. Like if I can't do everything to the glory of God, the way he gives it to me, then I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not signing. So when Martin had, had hit me up, I had just released a song and I was like, Okay, I don't feel you know yes, and I don't feel no. So let's have this conversation. And I met with Harvest. I met with Marty, and I asked them some some serious uh, questions. One had to do with accountability. Mm. I asked them flat out: If you see I'm out of order, will you continue to let me minister on the track, or will you sit Come me on, down? Man. Come on, man. He did. I need. Come on now. I need Come to know. I said, because there ain't, there, there's no sense in us coming into an agreement where for the love of money, you let me lose my soul. So if that's how it's going to be, there's no need for us to even continue. So I asked them, I did. I asked them about accountability. Um, I asked them, did they have something in place to where as if I did need to be restored, where am I going to? Is there counseling? Right. Is there something like, hey, you... What, what am I going to do? Are you just going to wash your hands of me, leave me out there to dry, and I'm drowning, mm-hmm. and y'all just go ahead. Like, let, Let's talk about some questions. Then I asked them, are you going to put me in a box that God didn't create? Mm-hmm. Is, is that what we're doing? I said, because if I flow through several different genres, and you just tell me that I can only do one, there's no need in us having this conversation. Mm-hmm. So... I, I did. I asked some hard questions, and but they had the answers. It wasn't like 
yeah, we're going to see, we're going to check this out. Mm, let me get back to you on that. No, they had genuine answers. And from mm -hmm. that, yes. I was like, they, and I told Harvest um, and Marty on the call, I said, you had me at accountability. Go ahead and sign me up. <laughs> So, wow. so, 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 Harvest Z Records, you wanted to make sure that this is was that it was not just business. You wanted to make sure that yes. priority of Harvest Z music was the kingdom of the Most High and not just music and money. That's what you wanted to make sure. Build it on a on a on on a solid ground. It's gonna stand, right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. If, and if. Uh, Standing on business was a person. That's, that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. For real. I bet Harvest was like, "Wait a minute, man! Who, who did I just? Say? Yeah, who did I just call? Hold on, a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Hello, hello. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> we in the industry in the gospel side, we need more of that because Fine. it was the same way when and shouts to Sister Delta and Brew News and Light Magazine, Hebrew Magazine in the building. A lot of people say the same thing about me and sure when they've been like, wait a minute, y'all just been together going on two years. We thought mm -hmm. y'all, and it was the same thing when she put us yeah. together. It was we just had this agreement, like not about being famous, right? It's about the most high, first and foremost, his begotten son, the set apart spirit, and reaching the people with that message. Right. And as you can see, here it is two years later. So I commend y'all for that. That's that's powerful in that day. We need more of it. So Wow, man. Think it's obviously it, working. It, it, it's, it's obviously working, Iob, as well, because you just the fact that they only been doing this for a year. And like I say, I'm I'm really amazed at the smiles. Smiles don't lie. You know what I'm saying? And all of them made it tonight. That's another That's thing, too. You got to look at stuff. You you got to look at stuff like this. You know, hey, uh, invite everybody made it. That lets you know that everything is working the way that it's supposed to be working when you build it on the most high it's going to do what it's supposed to do so yeah i i, I commend you guys all praises to the most high for that yeah most definitely right. um so yeah we going to go to our first music break it has been awesome so far everybody stick around peace and bless to everybody in the chat if i forgot to shout you out we love y'all thank y'all for being here we're going to go to our first music break but before that um so we picked out a few songs for the show. Um, and this first music break is In Love by Miss Harpers. Okay. Uh, before you introduce the single, let us know the inspiration for this song and what brought it about. Okay. Well, I was going through a dark time in my life, uh, a season of transition. And my inspiration really the love of God, you know, him mm -hmm. taking me on a journey, renewing um, my identity in him, renewing my identity of knowing his, his, his undying love for not just me, but humanity mm -hmm. and his people. And mm -hmm. he showed me, you know, straight up, he, 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 he solidified the fact that the more and more we fall in love with him, the more and more he falls in love with us. And it's, it's, it's a conduit relationship. And so that's what that song uh, came from just, the fact of knowing God loves us, but the more we tap in, draw closer to him and draw nigh to him, he draws nigh to us. And it's just a flow of, you know, just love. And so that's what that song is about. It's just an encouragement to those who might not be happy, might not be joyful, might be going, you know, having a bad day. Put that on. It's going to uplift your spirits. That's my prayer that you'll leave that song feeling better than you were before you heard it. So. All praises. All praises. All right. Well, no further ado. In love by Miss Harvest. Y'all stick around. We got Harvest G in the building. Having it. I'm. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself. Already. Y'all stick around. Here we go. In love by Miss Harvest. You said you love me. Now I know. Love is worth more than gold 
So yeah, the love of the most high man, whenever you're down, if, and she right, y'all, if that don't pick you up. Right, the love right. Of the most high, I don't know what will. Come on, somebody. That's preach. All day. All day. <laughs> yeah, we are back. Yeah, the uh, audience is loving it. Say this is vibing. Uh, Miss Y'all may say, I love to switch up. Switch up vocals and bars. Yeah. Exactly. That's the same thing I was saying, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's keep it moving. Um, so Miss, Miss Chosen, I was reading this. Um, there was an article or like a bio that mm -hmm. JOL sent, and um, it was talking about it labeled, I guess, like your style, like the voice of victory. Mm. Okay, um, it says Miss Chosen's story is one of triumph over adversity. Can you tell the audience, name one time? And and we've all had, you know, Ooh. we got a testimony. I, she already know I'm going. Name one time where the most high just you he just showed up and blew your mind because it was you was like, yo, mm -hmm. I don't know what I would be without the most high. Name one time of your testimony where mm -hmm. he really brought you out. Oh, that's simple for me. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I, I can say a whole lot, but one time that really just come to my spirit at the moment. Um was at a moment in time when I was dealing with suicide mm. and I was getting ready to end it. Like, that's it, God. That's it. Oh, wow. That That's it, you know? Um, wow. And I, w I was just out there. Nobody knew where I was. Like, just, that's it. I'm about to do this. This is over with. And really, God had just revealed himself to me. Um, to be honest, he revealed himself to me in the clouds. I literally saw, like, a, a form of what could be heaven formed in a cloud, mm. literally. Wow. What could have been Jesus sitting on the throne, what could have been, you know, angels around, what could have been others beside him. Like, I can't fully explain it, but God revealed that to me. And then he brought family um, to find where I was and I got saved. <laughs> wow. He saved mm. me, and, and I mean, I've been saved, don't get me wrong. No, yes, I mean, yes. like, he came and he rescued me. Life. Right, he right. literally saved my life and wow. rescued me and rescued me when I was getting ready to end it all. And that is one time that I can truly say that I had victory over the enemy. And ever since that day, ever since that experience, God has just blown my mind completely with the intimacy with him that has held and kept me with my family, with my wonderful husband, with my children through his word through much prayer, through much power, through much fasting. 
um, I can truly say that that was a victorious moment in my life that I encountered God in such a miraculous way that truly saved my life, that truly saved my life. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's true victory. I mean, that's what the article says, a story of triumph over adversity. That was right. a true adverse time yes. where you yeah. want to talk about the strength of the most high. My goodness. Yes. yes. Wow. She has truly tasted and seen how good the most yes. high is. Wow. Yes. Yes, yeah. God is good. And he's wow. real. He's good. Yes. He's real. And he will yes. do it. Yes. Yes. You know, people will fail you. People will fail yeah. you. Your loved yeah. ones will fail you. Yeah. You know, you have, we have to understand that and remember that. Like, yes. people yes. can never do and never amount to who Yahweh do. is. Come on. Yeah. Man, yeah. man, that's right. That's right. That's why our you will allow, trust, our you know, one thing. Wow. One thing I've learned is that the Most High will actually allow us to see people turn us down in situations where we need them. Um, mm. We will go to certain people. We will ask people, you know, for help to hear them say no. He will allow us to go through the all of these situations to the only thing we got left is him. You know, mm -hmm. the only thing that we have left is him. And so when we turn to him, we got to turn to him and believe you know what I'm saying? And once we turn to him and believe, he will show up and do what it is that he said that he's going to do for us. So, yeah, um, you got a joy that I hear that can't nobody take away, Miss Chelsea. Amen. Can't Amen. nobody Amen. take it. Yeah. Well, I flex on him. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> you be <cold> flex. Yeah. <laughs> Jamil Hundo <laughs> Shalom Mox. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Miss Danielle, same question. Now, I, I, what was the time in your life where you, um, where you may have been down and out, and you you had to call on the you call on the name, and he showed up and showed out, and you just had to overcome adversity, and you found victory in that moment. When when was the time you you may have experienced that? Uh, well, well, like my sisters, like there's just so many like real big ones. Um, so I'll, I'll go a different route on mine is I was, um, I was homeless for 10 years. Um, really? and, and even the people who were closest to me did not know it because I didn't look like what, where I was. Ooh. And, uh, when I mean homeless is I, I was, I had everything I owned in a van and I was sleeping mm. in the back seat. And I was still doing ministry. Whoa. And and I was like, God, and it was what was crazy about that moment is that a lot of people in the church were condemning me. They were like, mm. Well, what did you do that you're homeless? Because you know, if you truly blessed, then God's gonna, you know, give you this and give you that and all that. And God showed me, He He just showed up because I was like, Okay, God, I'm I'm about to lose my mind. Like, I don't even know what's going on. He said, I'm allowing you to go through this to show you something. Right. Not that you did anything, but number one, I never want you to lose your sense of compassion. Come on. Mm, amen. Come on now. Because it's so easy, um, especially as artists or even if you're a motivational speaker or whatever, to get lured in by the, the flashing lights and the cameras of thinking right. that you're something and forget mm -hmm. what, it, what it means to be a person to be a human, to just have the things, good things do happen, to, uh, um, bad things do happen to good people. Yes. It really right. does. Right. So I, 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 I never forget, I'm in Florida, it's in winter, people think it don't get cold in Florida, let me tell you, my first year there, we had snow flurries. I was like, Jesus, mm. what is going on? Because I didn't even have a coat. I got rid of them. I was like, yep, I don't need it. And I was, if you know anything about metal, is metal in cold becomes a refrigerator. So I'm in the back seat. I yeah, my teeth van. are chattering. Yeah, of a van. My teeth are chattering. I'm freezing. I'm hungry. I learned right. the bad thing about the, the system is if you're single and you have no kids, I know people's like, just go down there and get a check. I'm here to tell you it don't work. Right. It don't the system is not set up for you to come out of poverty. The system is set up to keep you in keep poverty. You in poverty. Yep. Speak. Speak, speak the truth. Amen. So I'm speak like, God, I, I, I don't know what's going on. And I remember I was shaking. I said, All right, God, 
even in this, I'm not turning away from you. Mm. I'm mm -hmm. staying with you, regardless of what you put me through. I'm, I'm yours. So if you want me to die in my sleep from being frozen, then that's what's going to happen tonight. But I'm not going to leave you. I'm right. not going to leave you. That's and I had nice. this peace that came over me that was just, I can't even explain it. Like, I was freezing and wasn't worried. Like, who does that? Mm. Me. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just... I was cool. I was like, I, I'm gonna keep. We, we about to keep do, doing this gospel. I'm gonna keep traveling for as long as you get me. Like I would get just enough gas money to make it to my next event, and then I was stuck there until I was able to get someplace Go else. somewhere else. Yeah. So, 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 like most of us, we ride on gas when we in our cars. Then yeah, speak was riding on the Ruach, Come the on. Holy Spirit mm -hmm. of the Most High. Mm -hmm. You was riding on mm -hmm. exactly. You was riding on the Ruach Kadash. You know, you said 10 years, sister. I, I try not to let a whole lot of stuff get past me. Mm -hmm. You look so young. <laughs> to say that you were homeless for 10 years, you know, yeah. um, I mean, you know, wow. speak. can you speak on that? Like, I mean, how old were you at the time, if you don't mind me asking, you know, don't during mind. this time? Don't, don't mind at all. I was 22. Wow. Wow. 22. I, I was young. And, and what happened is that I, I was working. I lost both of my jobs in one day. Now, granted, I hadn't been late. I hadn't uh, uh, got a bad report. I hadn't gotten a write up. They God just he was like, all right, I'm shutting this down. I'm, I'm doing it in a way to where as it's going to blow your mind. Like mm -hmm. and. I, I, I was driving. I remember I was driving and I saw people on the side of the road, you know, they had the signs like, you know, I like right. change and stuff like right. that. Right. And I remember I was driving. I was like, God, I need a sign because I'm starving. Like I am hungry. I have nothing to eat. I have no place to go. And the only thing that has stopped me, I was like, because I was so heavy in ministry, I was like, somebody's going to think I'm lying. Hmm. Because they see me out, like I'm. When I mean I'm, I'm out. Like I was out. Like you name an event, I was there. You was there. And I, I was there. I, I, I was her. So right. I was like, okay, God, if I do this, somebody's gonna think I'm lying, and that's it. My good is gonna be spoken evil of because people right. don't know the situation. Right. Um. So that was hard. But yeah, I was 22 years old, and for 10 years, it took it took that long to to even come out of it because if you know anything about the system once you make a little bit of money they start snatching stuff away mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. they yep. start snatching and, and then when when you're single and no kids there's a process they have to help the families first right then they have to help the 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 single parents first if you're single with no kids they assume they they um you're labeled an able body mm -hmm. which means you should be able to figure it out Right. Yeah. So I found out the hard way. Not everybody who's out on the street sign is there for fun. Mm -hmm. Some of them really need help. So mm -hmm. that's why God, that's what God was showing me. Have compassion because you don't know their story. Like people don't know mm -hmm. yours. Come on. Mm -hmm. Right. Come on, that's right. Man. Wow. Twenty three right. years old. That is. Wow. You sisters. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's very rare that we be speechless over here, but that's right. that's a that's a that's a wow effect for real. Yeah, that um, is. Harvest, do you it was what what was a one time if you want to share with everybody where um you just like this you just your testimony is just you just had that you called on him and he was there because it was nothing else you could do. What was one of those adversity times where you? If you want to share well it's definitely multiple um i will say test uh danielle's testimony resonates with me as well me and my ex-husband we were homeless twice as well mm. and so i got a chance to see the face of homelessness a lot of times people mm. think that you know you have to be a certain type of person that's homeless no there's people that just fell on hard times there's people with right. doctor degrees and right. geniuses that are homeless so you know a lot of times, though, unless you've been through it and you've actually had a chance to see the face of it, you're not sympathetic. You can't don't have compassion, like my sister's saying. But I went through it. I walked through that. 
Um, we were at shelters here in DFW area, and just I was able to see also the hand of God even in that from people who was generous. You mm-hmm. know that the Lord laid on their heart to come and bless the homelessness. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the people with mental issues and just all type of reasons as to sometimes why they are in that position as well. So <clears throat> I got a chance to see that firsthand. Um, and of course, God, he stepped in with that as well with, with me in my life. So that's definitely instance. But I would have to say one of the profound ones would be also, you know, I've dealt with also often on the spirit of suicide growing up. And let me let me tell you as to how that was able to enter, I think, into my life. Um, at five years old, I learned that I was a product of rape. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a lot of issues with that. Me thinking my mother's husband was my dad, but he really wasn't. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of issues. I learned that my mother, she was going to abort me, Mm. right? And she was at the abortion clinic and she was going to abort me. And the Lord himself had her get up and get out and leave. But I was just close to not being here, right? If Mm. she would have obeyed her own, that voice of Satan or whatever, she would have aborted me like a lot of our our women do, right? But she didn't. Thanks and glory be to God. So, but me finding that out at such a young age, I had to go on my journey throughout life, even though you know, I knew my mother ended up loving me. She had to go through her her struggles as well uh, on her journey of uh, forgiveness of my dad, you know, and restoration. And God brought something out of that as well. But um, growing up with that identity issue, you mm. know, understanding that, you know, being conceived like that and just even just the fact that, OK, your mother didn't want you in the beginning because of this and that. Right. The enemy was able to really use that to play on my mind, my identity, my self-worth, my confidence, my everything. Wow. While going to church, while being told I love you, I've been told God loves you. Um, So I had my struggles with that to where, yeah, I had there was many nights, many nights that I had to really call on God um, and pray when the enemy would come in and and attack me in those areas. Um, and so, yeah, the, the Lord, you know, in his infinite wisdom, there's been so many times where I just feel like he was all I had, mm. you know, like my sister say, you know, mm. people will fail you as much mm. as your husband mm. or your wife love you. They're human. There's going to be mm-hmm. days that they're not going to make you feel loved mm-hmm. as much as your sister, mm-hmm. your mother, and your father love you. They are human. There's going to be days they're not going to make you feel like they love you. Wow. But but if you hold on to God and you know that he loves you and you know that he's there for you, regardless, like King David said, if I make my bed in hell, you are there with me. Right. That's right. Low though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you're riding. I stand. So it's so much, so much. And that that's why I just love God like I do. And I just thank God for him just being who he is and his people. You guys, my sisters and just his people, his people that are out here. Uh, proclaiming the good news and out here ministering yeah. to this lost world because who, who else is going to bring the love of God to them but us? Come right, on, right, right, wow. right. Wow. We need people to, they need to know that they're not the only ones who've been through something. Sometimes with us, us as the kingdom and people of God, once we get saved and God and brought us out, it's as if you know, we've uh, always right. been there. Right. The and we haven't. Exactly. Come on, man. Right. Haven't. Exactly. Come on. We have not. Exactly. Ooh. If it wow. wasn't for the exactly. grace and the goodness of God, we wouldn't be where we are. And we have to, I think we just have to be more transparent with letting people know that not be afraid <laughs> that our transparency is going to drive people away. I believe, you know, I believe that we go through things for other people. I truly believe right, that. Right, 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 Amen. right. Absolutely. Because if you, if you look at the, the men and women of the Bible, mo- they all dealt with either machine, homelessness and suicide. That's right. Mm-hmm. If you that's, right. Real. That's, that's real. That's real. Absolutely. That's right. They dealt yeah. with the very two things you sisters man were dealing with. Yeah. I, I mean, and that's what a set apart spirit would be like, though. Am I correct? Because you know, the world that we live in has its own ruach, it has its own spirit. Yeah. And so when you have a set apart spirit, you're going to look different. You're going to be that black sheep. You know what I'm yes. saying? You're going to yes. be different. So that's going to, you know, you you got to deal with that internally mm. because th- what's inside of you is going to eventually come out and people going to be looking at you like Danielle said. She just found out that she was always invited to be the designated driver. Yeah. Hey, look, now you 
a person could take that one or two ways. You right. can how you look at the cup. Mm-hmm. Full, I mean half empty or half full, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. think about yeah. all the lives you may have saved. Come on, man. Come Just on. because you yeah. didn't do what everybody mm-hmm. else did during that particular time. You did what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and so we got to look at things like that. Sister said something else too, I yo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, all three of them said something that made me think of something, man. Made me think of 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 the verse where it said, "I've never seen a righteous forsake, mm-hmm. or his mm-hmm. offspring mm-hmm. beg for bread." Right? I did here in Proverbs also, chapter one forty. I mean, this is Psalms one forty. This is eleven through thirteen. It said, "Let not an evil, let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt a violent man to overthrow him." It says that I know the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted. And the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. You know what I'm saying? And so no matter what you're going through, how low you may think that you are, what did the scriptures say? That he would never put more on us than we are able to bear. So all of that brings us right back to our faith. If you say you believe in him, okay, he going to test you out. You know what I'm saying? He, he going to test you. Don't tell me you can run a, you know what I'm saying? That that you could run a 40 in a, I, hey, if you could run a 40, hey, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it. Mm-hmm. I want to see it. I want to see Come it. On. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. So, all praises to the most high Man. for that. I, I, I give all praises to your testimony. <laughs> Boy, I, that man. right there was worth was was worth the night effort. I mean, more than anything, right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, and it is is going to segue us into our uh, next song break. Miss um, Danielle, Miss Danielle speaks the song "Hard Truth." Man, let me tell you, uh, we're about to play that in a minute. But I wanted to ask you before we before you introduce. The, the next song break your song hard truth what was the inspiration behind that song oh she here oh uh-oh, she may have froze up oh boy well if she did we can run we can go yeah. ahead and run it, run it. and when she come back she can answer the question absolutely okay yeah all right man uh we normally Keep it under uh, right at the hour. Uh, it ain't happening tonight. So, <laughs> well, we got multiple guests too. Uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, Not, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying it. I'm loving the testimonies, man. Right. Um, our women out there, our women in the chat, you got any questions for these uh, the women of the Most High? Please, uh, you know, put your questions if you want to ask anything. But these testimonies are extremely powerful, and uh, you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm learning. Uh, the most highest grand. So let's get to this song break. Y'all stick around. We got Hard Truth by Miss Danielle Speaks. Let's get it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I really want to know the truth. I really want to know you. Can't seem to find the words to say why well, I feel this way. Are you here to stay? I really wanna know the truth. I really wanna know you. I really wanna hear you say that you're here to stay. Take this hurt away. Back and forth in my head like a bass drum. One side says forget it, other says you're soon to come. My heart are like a puzzle piece. Pitching me in one piece, scrolling down my feet, hoping somebody will rescue me. Indecision causes strife, messing with my inner vision. I sit alone in my room, looking at the ceiling, praying that my words will reach you, praying that someone to teach you. Sticking to the facts cause embellishments have gotten lethal. We don't pray no more. Not the same no more Seeking fame for more We don't stay no more I wish somebody would just Lead me to the truth But it seems we lost our way So I need it straight from you Talk to me I really wanna know the truth I really wanna know you Can't seem to find the words to say Why I feel this way Are you here to stay? I really wanna know the truth I really wanna know you I really wanna hear you say That you're here to stay Take this hurt I remember growing up in the church It's not everybody's story, but for me it just works Soon as somebody new walked into the church We broke bread, then we got fed after we church Back then, 
It wasn't about getting your membership It was about you getting through them gates so you could enter in It was a 12th dimension It was that inner feeling Knowing that your love could overcome and help complete the mission Now it seems all we care about is status Taking notes to find out who's the best like it matters Funny how you said we shouldn't judge by our parents But that's all we seem to do and we expect the world to hear us More concerned about the wealth, who we know, where we been While the whole world's drowning in sin I can't pretend no more the Truth is, we just don't know you no more If you're listening, Lord, I'm knocking, please come open the door I really wanna know the truth I really wanna know you Can't seem to find the words to say Why I feel this way, are you here to stay? I really wanna know the truth I really wanna know you I really wanna hear you say That you're here to stay Take this hurt I'm vibing. I'm, you know, Every jazz know. influence, man. man. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I believe we got Sister back. Um, the question yeah. before we he- had the song, sis, was what was the inspiration? And just by hearing the song again, because that's like my third or fourth time hearing it, I could already, I already know where you're going to go. But what was the inspiration by um, Hard Truth? What, 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 were you going through something at the time? I, I, no, it, it was honestly just driven from um, so many people that, you know, you want to talk to people about the Lord, but it always seems to tur- circle around to a church building, mm. you know, mm. and not necessarily having this relationship with God. And I'm like, man, well, I'm out here and you, 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 you I even have people that um, I talk to on a daily basis. And they're like, you know, well, I, I went to visit the church, but I got there and it was a click and I just didn't fit in. And, you know, I, I tried to talk to them, wanted to sit down and, and have coffee with them. And now everybody's busy or everybody's this. And I was like, God, if, if we're if we're an extension of you, we're, we're hurting and we need a tourniquet somewhere to cut off the what, what's going on because it's not working anymore. And I reverted back to, I thought about it, and I was like, man, when I was at church, what used to get people? We would have first-time visitors come in, and for the first month, and I'm not, this is no exaggeration, but for the first month that they came to church on a Sunday or Wednesday, they never cooked a meal. Mm -hmm. Because they were always invited to someone's house to Mm -hmm. fellowship. Wow. Mm -hmm. Period. Wow. They never cooked a meal. If they were new to the area and they needed some stuff moved, guess what? They didn't need a moving company because everybody had, there was a sign up sheet in the back. People showed up to help. And that's how people came to the church. It had nothing to do with the building. It had to Mm. do with the people. Mm, mm, So when I wrote this song, I went back to those days and I, I, and I completely, Loser. Man. Mm. The loser. I think we're the loser. Man. Mm. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. She was going in. Yeah. It's all good. Man. It's all good. We'll get her back. She'll be yeah. back. Um, but yeah, I, true fellowship. Uh, and what she was saying is most definitely because, you know, especially in our community. We make it about a building, making it about who dressed the best, uh, who got the, be- you know, my grandmother's a church mother who got the best hat. <laughs> we couldn't even see the preacher or the pulpit from the hat. <laughs> I mean, hey, like man, you're saying, it's a hard truth. I mean, I'm sure y'all can, y'all, y'all can attest to the fact that, you know, but, but yeah, um, do you, would you, do you, I'm, I'm pretty sure, do you guys agree with her? Like, and and that was my next question. I don't know, Cheer. Did you have a question? Did you did you have something that you were saying? Yeah, I, I did have a question, but I don't know where you're going though, so I don't want to. No, okay, no, no, then. I, I, yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, mine is to harvest. Um, she also is more than a music mogul. Um, it's 
out of the same Harvest Beats um, article from Urban Gospel that uh, Jay sent us. I wanted to know more about your nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Um, could you, yeah, could you tell us about that? Because I mean, you, you are a lady of many talents. All of you guys got vocals. Am I correct? Yes. Everybody yes. sing. Yes. Everybody correct. sing. Do, do you right. rap as well, Miss Chosen? Do you rap as well too? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, then, and if, so, and everybody got exactly. Look, so you know, it, it expands more than music. Tell us about. Harvest G Inc. Incorporation. Tell us about that. Well, brothers actually knew I just founded it and we're still growing it. But the whole vision and mission of that is to be a, a platform for young creatives uh, where we're able to nurture them, foster them and, and so into them to in, empower them, you know, uh, with their, their art, with their craft, as well as um, uh, empowerment economically as well. Uh, but really, we're going to be catering to young girls from the ages of 14 to 21, uh, girls that you might recall at risk, right? Girls in communities to where uh, they, they might not be able to, to, to see examples or know how to, 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 to grow their craft, know how to get out there with their, you know, my, it's a young girl that loves to draw, a young girl that loves to sing, a young girl that loves to rap. But she's less than in an environment where her parents are saying, no, you can't do this or you know, you're not going to be nothing when you grow up, but she's just in situations where they're not encouraging the, that to bring that out of her. She doesn't have opportunity to even learn how to 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 grow in these areas. So the, the nonprofit umbrella of Harvest G Inc., that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going into different places, dealing with girls who who have a gift, per se, a talent or just have a desire. And they want to grow that. We're going to be working with them one on one. We're going to be up close and personal with them. We're going to mentor them. We're going to not just mentor them in the arts and create in music and creative, but also with empowerment. I am a firm believer in economic empowerment. Yes. You know, I, I just I just believe that. I think we have to come together more as a people to empower our communities and just to do that. So you know? we break so, curses. This yes, is how we break generational curses. Amen. We gotta leave a I, I, I have one more question, um, Ayo, if you don't mind, um, for, for Harvest. Um, going back to your testimony, right? Um, and I can see Harvest G Incorporation, the nonprofit organization, is I'm I can I would bet everything that I have it comes from it it stems the root of it is your background where you came from in life this is you know where you were and you know that the type of help that you needed which would make you like the perfect fit to help others because you know what it looked like when you see it you told us about your mom as well right if you don't mind me asking what is your relationship with your mom like now oh me and my mother is close I oh praises oh yeah. praises and we've always been close. Um, I mean, you know, single mother did the best she could to raise me and my brothers. You know, we was in the hood, so you know the struggle was real. You know, what part of took you out of? Twenty two Beckley and Sainer, close to South. Okay. Beckley, so. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, we grew up on assistance. Yeah. And you know. Typical, right? I see my mother. Right. I know and I love by my mother, though. I think she showed me a good example of what a mother's love is and what our oh, praises. And I'm not saying nothing against fathers, but I just knew my yeah, mother yeah. was there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah, she, yeah. She, I, she, she sacrificed so much for us to make sure we were taken care of. I mean, if she had to go to food pantry, she did yeah, that. She, had to on yeah, she, did that. Yeah. she wasn't going to allow us to go without. Yeah. And there's other things she might have done. Yeah. You know, yeah. but yeah. I just but she took her home first. Right. Yeah, she took care of home first. We always had food. It might not have been the best, but we always had food. We always knew we right. was loved. We right. was nurtured. Right. Um, and so, but I, I growing up in the hood and even you know the struggle with, with with just living in a low income poverty. You know, I'm just gonna keep it real, right? Taking mm -hmm. fall sense of purposes, crack area, crack neighborhood. I mean, my younger brother, right under me, we were less than two years apart. Literally, we were almost twins. Um, he got addicted, was in and out of drug rehabs as a youth. Mm. You know, he started smoking weed. 
Mm-hmm. Then he started smoking Primos and he got on crack, a young man. Oh, and he wow. ended up dying at 22. Oh, wow. Um, by crossing the highway. I don't know who he was riding with. They let him out. He was walking to DeSoto to his girlfriend's house and it was fog and 18 wheeler killed him. He was like roadkill. My mother had to go through that traumatic experience of ID and my brother by just a patch of hair. So my we done been through a lot family wise. Um, that's my younger, that's my younger brother right under me. I got a baby brother now who's doing his second bid locked up. He first went to state pen. Now he's got 18 years in fed pen. So and I got uncles who been in out of penitentiary, drug addiction, you know, so hood stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. is not believers, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like you was mentioning, all the part and set apart. A lot of times when you walk in the narrow road, even your loved ones don't understand. Right. And you're going to be ostracized, and that even makes you feel more alone. You know, right. um, so I struggled with that growing up as well, feeling like I was different. And people in my family, you know, my oh, praises, you made it out though, sisters. Yeah. Man, that's 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 the most important thing, and it's awesome, you know, to hear you know what your mom went through, what almost could have, what didn't. Now we're here today, and the, and the relationship is still flourishing, and and so you know, you are a survivor, sister. You are a survivor. Wow, I'm done. I go. I'm. Oh. I, <laughs> you good. I, I wanna, but I wanna, um, for Miss Chosen, uh, stand right there with what uh, the powerful testimony coming from Harvest about motherhood. Um, this bio. So you have a Miss Chosen. You have a up and coming album. Is are you work, you working on a single? I mean, uh, like a, a solo album right now? Well, <laughs> okay. it wasn't technically official, but okay. Um, okay. you know, it could happen. It could okay. definitely happen. Um, always music is going to be plenty of music released this year. Um, it's not totally official that there will okay. be an album, okay. but you know, you never know. Okay. And <laughs> you know now stay tuned. Still, yeah, stay tuned. Keep it locked. Come on. Now, with that being said, my next question is: being a servant of the Most High, being a mm-hmm. wife, being a mother. Share with uh, some of the women that are watching. Share how do you balance that? And then you got the group, and then being on the label, and then your music mm-hmm. high, with a nine to five. How do you balance that? What is like? I know we get strength for the most high, of course, but mm-hmm. what what do you practically schedule out, or, or how do you balance all mm-hmm. of that in your everyday life? Look, can I just be real about it? Go ahead and be yes, real. This <laughs> truth be told. We can pray for balance. Told. Look, we can pray for balance and we can have balance and then that balance might fall and then things may just be everywhere and it's like oh i got an interview oh i gotta do this oh i gotta do that oh my kids gotta get to practice oh i gotta do this oh my husband lord he about to be like <laughs> look it's one one minute it's like that and one minute it's not you know and that's just the real of it and honestly the way that i get through it is through much prayer y'all i'm a prayer woman i'm a praying woman my mama was a praying woman even before she was like officially saved you know through much prayer much fasting um much crying out on my knees at times when it get ridiculously hard um you know and it seems like to be too much um stand in my word of course of course you cannot do this look that's right that's right let me just let me just say this let me just say this the word of god (laughs) is the way to help us through as young women, young wives, and young mothers. Come on. It, as a matter of fact, it don't matter what age you are. You know, just as a mother and as a wife, the word of God is really what's going to help keep you planted and keep your mind sound. Truly yes, having Lord. an intimate relationship um, right. with the Lord to be able to say, you know what? Hold up. Let me walk away for a minute. Let me go talk to God for a second or you know, let me just take this time to just get on my knees, fall on my face, whatever I got to do to just cry out to God so I can get myself back together. Because right now, my kids need me. My son need me. My my daughters need me. My mama might need me. My sisters might need me. Right, you know, right, my, right, my, right, my nieces, right. my nephews. Like, it's when you have a calling on your life, it's going to be heavy and you're not going to always have balance. And as much as we want it, we're not going to always have it. Right. So the right. only way that we're able to continuously 
um, build with a sound mind is through God himself, through Yahweh himself. That's it. That's wow. it. The enemy is going to attack. It's going to yep. always be obstacles. There's going to always be something that he's going to put in your pathway. Yep. Something. Yep. Something. Yep. Like, yep. like for real. Whether That's it's it. with your marriage, whether it's with your kids, whether it's with your job, whether it's whatever the heck it may be. It might be you know, at an event you're going to minister at and somebody mm. may be like just talking to you straight up sideways. Mm. Or, like, yep, yep. The whole <laughs> You say might need Wi Fi, Danielle. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. Yeah. You might be the Wi Fi. That part. Yeah. That part. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You might awfully sit there and dish you in front of everybody. What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You, you might not right. have balance at that moment. Stuff may be chaotic, and you might have to get up there and still minister the word of God. Come the on. only way you can do that yes. is through the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on. We're just Come willing on, vessels man. to be used for his glory. It's his That's power right. that does it, not our flesh, not us. If we can just continue yes. to keep ourselves humble. Come on. Yeah, That's man. it. Come on. I, I, That's it. I, I had to take that answer for myself because sometimes man. <laughs> it get hard. Man. <laughs> you get back hard man. <laughs> I'd be oh, 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 look, look, but if you oh. knew me back when, when the struggle was real, right. real, right, you wouldn't mess with me. Hey, I'm gonna be real, right. you would not mess with me. Right. Listen, you know, you know what I like. Look. You know what I like. Every time you ask Miss right. Chosen a question before she starts, she say, "Can I just be real with I you?" Hey, real you real always say, hey, that's, "Hey, listen, this is true. It's the R&B hook, but it is true. Be told exactly. But we can flex on them by telling the truth. Come on, somebody." <laughs> and look, my wife co signed it tomorrow. He ain't lying. I know. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, listen. Yes, indeed. Ooh, but before we go into the next music break, that was yeah. awesome. Let's go back to Miss Danielle. We got you back. Um, the hard truths, and we were talking about for some reason, even our people in church these days, we focus on the building and all the hoopla and the theatrics, but not mm -hmm. the people. Okay, mm -hmm. so I want to ask y'all a question. I want Miss Danielle to go first, and I believe she'll probably know where I'm already going. A while back, Miss Kelly Price, mm. to the internet, and she mm. things up with what she said. It stirred up some controversy, but now it's kind of died down and quiet. I want Miss Danielle, I want you to go first because that's hard truths and the hard truths. Sometimes, like you said, we focus on the building and not the people and not the servanthood that goes on with our pastors. And it gets overshadowed a lot of times by a lot of the mess with the choir directors and what goes on. And what Kelly Price is saying, a lot of people know. I, Like I said, I come from a Pentecostal church and everything she would say, I was thinking, shaking my head like, yep, she's right because I've seen it. Do you guys feel like as the church or as a people, we're coming out of that messiness or you know, like, mm. what do we need to do? I want to go around and miss Danielle first. What was Kelly Price? Did she have a point? Was she right? Or was she doing too much? What do you think? I, well, first, let me say this. And in, in, in my staying separated from a lot of stuff, I can honestly say I have no clue what Kelly Price said. To to the to the mm. anxiety of my record label, I detach from a lot of things on social mm. media. Mm. I I I mean, for years, I didn't even own the television because my stance is, if I have more time for things than I have for God, then I don't need it. Wow. So wow. There's, there's a lot of things that that happen where I have to hear from other people because I don't even know. So wow. I, I will preface what I'm going to say <laughs> with that. I don't know what she said, but I would say as far as the, the, the state of the church, how mm -hmm. God was dealing with me mm -hmm. is that when we stop treating people like the church building and actually start treating them like the family of God, mm -hmm. we going to see some change. We'll see some change. For instance, when Jesus was sitting in the house, Got tapped on the shoulder. He said, hey, uh, your family's outside. 
Jesus turned around and said, who is my family? Mm-hmm. But those who do the will of my father. Come on. Mm-hmm. Once we stop separating things like that, once we stop mm-hmm. saying, hey, what are you doing after church today? Oh, me and my family, we are going to go out to eat. I will schedule something with you later. Mm-hmm. When we stop saying that separation of what, what we think is ours and what we got, and God's like, realistically, you ain't got nothing because if I stopped your heartbeat right now, who, what are you doing? What? Right. Right. So the family is the family unit is the entire body of the Most High God. It is not. It's not one church. It's not one house. That's right. Because he's not bound by either. Come on. So we have to stop putting God in the in this platform that. You know, he only chooses one thing because he's God. Like he's infinite. Mm. That's right. So I think I think it's getting messier to if, if you want to ask me, it's getting messier. And one of the biggest reasons it's getting messier is because the spirit of compromise that we keep coddling mm. inside the church building. Yes. Because yep. we need to compromise talent for gifts. We need to compromise yes. the word of, of, of God for likes and follows. We need to compromise yes. what's really going to bring people out of their mess but for what's really going to put stuff in the collection plate. Come we on. got this yep. thing like totally Come messed up. Come and on. it's getting yes. messier because we keep saying that you can serve two masters. I ain't never read that. Right. Mm. Never right. Right. My mama, my mama used to say she's stepping on some toes. Boy. Stepping yeah. on toes. She's stepping we, we my mama that. used to say, she, yeah, Step she's on. stepping on some toes. She stepped and on a whole foot. I'm told <laughs> with no chew on, with some sandals on. Come on, come back. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, no curtain, but but the yeah. that, that question yeah, before uh, Miss Chosen and Harvest. So a while back, and and like you said, a lot of people may not be up on. The Sunday's best show. Uh, she had said that out of all the somebody had said something to her, and she basically was saying what Danielle speaks was saying, like we as a church, we need to do better, yada yada. And somebody was like, Oh, you can't be talking about that with your miss trying to be in church and secular music having mm-hmm. self. So Kelly Price is like, Well, listen, everybody, every judge on that uh so-called panel ain't living right anyway. Either right, they are either. I, I, Kelly Price was the only judge up there with Donna McClurkin, Kirk, Erica, and Tina Campbell from Mary Mary that was not being cheated on or cheating and dealing with little boys and girls. That's what she said, and it just oh. went crazy, right? So I should have prefaced that, but I apologize for not. I thought y'all was up on it, but yeah. a lot of people may not have been up on that because, like I said, now it's kind of died down. They kind of threw the dirt on it, and so I wanted to get your thoughts. Like I said before, we go to the next music break. But Miss Danielle, that is that's that's what it's about. Everybody's got the collection plate. Everybody's got the likes and the and it just seems like and like I said, that alone. It just took fire, mm-hmm. it fire on the internet and went crazy. But why can't something positive, like a picture mm. with two million of us graduating uh, from HBCUs, we don't we don't see that. Yeah. But you will see a yeah. Kelly Price rant and how she went off on Christians and that. So what do you guys? Mm-hmm. Like I said, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys, Miss Chosen? What do you think about that? Was she right? Should she should have mm-hmm. not said that? Is it still mm-hmm. going on? Or, you know, what's our way out of that? What do you think? Well, I'm not going to speak too much on it. I've heard um, a little bit about that situation <sighs> or whatever. Um, I don't know the fullness of it besides mm-hmm. what you told me and a little bit mm-hmm. that I heard. Mm-hmm. Um, she has a right to her opinion. She has a right to her opinion. She has a right to you know, call out what she see from her perspective, uh, from her side of the story. Speaking just on um, what you said in particular, um, you know, if things is getting better, you know, within the church. From what I see, from my opinion, from my perspective, um, I do believe that there is a remnant of people that mm-hmm. God is raising up and mm-hmm. that is truly walking into the obedience of him and that is really fighting and trying as hard mm-hmm. as they can 
in a position in their life, you know, to stand for his righteousness and stand for his truth, you know, with all the controversy and with all the mess, you know, that is going on. Right. Um, right, right do right. I believe that there is still a lot of messiness? Of course. Absolutely. Because anytime that we leave room for the enemy to walk through, if we open the door for the enemy to walk through. Yes. Come on. Yeah, yes. of course. Yes. Of course. Okay. Of course. Yes. Oh, and because right. we are still fighting hard to come to that unity that Jesus would like for us to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's messy. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. What about you, Harvest? Great, great answer. Great answer. <clears throat> what about you, Harvest? Well, brother, I hadn't, I didn't know either. I mean, this is my first time hearing anything about that. So mm. um, this is my first as well with that. But um, to pretty much echo what both the ladies said mm -hmm. um, in regards to that, I do believe God is raising up a remnant in these last days. And he'll, yes. He's always going to keep a remnant, just like Elijah, I think. Isn't that the prophet in, in the Old Testament where mm -hmm. he thought he was the only one that didn't bail, bow to the to bail? And the Lord was like, no, I got so many on the backside of me right. you don't even know of. Yes, so sometimes you feel alone. Thousand. Seven thousand, my bad. I said thousand. 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 So we got to know even, you know, that, that God, right. we're not alone, that he has a remnant. He's going to keep a remnant because right. he's God. Um, But that doesn't take away from like what my sis says. It's, it's mess. It's going to be mess. And truth right. has been mess since before Jesus. It's been Come on, man. It's been messy. We've been, well, we be messy. Since, mm -hmm. since Adam and Eve has been messed. Look at Cain and Abel. We can just go down. It's, it's right. Because <laughs> we keep messy. And this world is falling. So it's like, right. I Got think it. we just have to. I will say this. I think the leaders and the gatekeepers. Come on, that's. I, I gotta say that. That is. So who much is given, much is required, and I think the leaders have been doing a horrible job. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. because you know how can they hear without a preacher? And when you've been blessed and been called to a certain office of authority, you're held to a high that's standard right. to lead that's people. Right you know, the right way to teach them truth, to hold them accountable, to speak the true word of God and to train people and just teach them, you know, God um, and his righteousness. And I think that the leaders need to do a better job in the church overall. And I mean, the body of Christ in general, they need to do a better job of standing, you know, not compromising uh, and leading by example and not be like a Pharisee and Sadducee and, and the people, you know, in Jesus' time that they, they bound up the men and right, women of God, right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? But they were not living it. They were hypocrites. Jesus said, you, you full of dead men's bones. You, on, you know, man. you cross it, what, a thousand seas to win one prosthetite, <laughs> but not, you right, know, right. so it's so right. much things rebuke them for that. Really? It's happening now. It's nothing has changed. If anything has gotten worse, sir, it's been more messier because the generations oh, get wickeder and wiser. And I just believe that even in that, God is still raising up his people, a Come certain on. group, a remnant that he's going to, yes. in these end times, you know, allow his spirit to flow. Um, he's going to reap a harvest and he's going to continue to do his thing. So God is still bigger. He's going to continue to be bigger because he's God. And so That's I it. think we just need to just continue to pray for the church, pray for the body of Christ. And more than that, make sure we work out our own soul salvation to make sure Come we, on. we don't be no castaway. You Come know, on. God, Please. So focus, and, and focus so much on the mess and all the drama and what's not right in the church that we forget to make sure we make sure we right with God. Because truthfully, right. if you spending making sure you right and maybe praying for every you know and making sure you're doing what God has called you to do, um, you know you won't have as much time to be caught up in so much of the mess and the drama. You know the awesome thing about what you said, Harvest, that let's take everyone individually, right? If you make up in your mind that you're going to be right and everybody else make up in their mind that they're going to be right, guess what? Everybody is going to be right because they not paying attention to everybody else because right. in your mind, you making up to yourself that you're going to be right. The lady said something about the elders, man, the gate. The gatekeepers. You, I, this is why I love the word of the most high because it don't miss nothing, right? Mm, amen. Amen. This is Isaiah 56 and verse 10 and 11. It said, His watchmen are blind, mm. they are ignorant, they are all dumb dogs that cannot bark. 
sleeping, lying down, loving to slander. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his own gain from his quarter. And that's the problem. That is the problem within Yasharal is that you're so greedy and you're thinking about yourself that you can't lead the flock and the flock is in a whole disarray. And he called them dumb dogs. They can't bark. Can you imagine having a dog that don't bark, that can't bark? I don't want that dog. I'm going to be honest with you. What I need you for. Coming over here. Yeah, what I need you for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that goes back to what Danielle was saying. We got to, instead of focusing on the building, it's the it's the people. You know what I'm saying? It's the people that, the flock, that, that has to be shepherded by the good shepherd. Man, right. um, I just wanted to ask that question because, um, you know, with, with having you guys on, I, want, I wanted to get your thoughts on that. But we're going to move to our next song break. We're going to be wrapping it up here. I've enjoyed myself. We ain't going nowhere yet. Been awesome. going yeah. Nowhere yet. Let's give a shout out to Jeff Short as well. Yeah, I, Jeff yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Jeff Short. On this channel and subscribe when I heard y'all talking about God. See, look at there. That's All it. praises. All yeah. praises. One song yeah. that, you know, happened to stumble old and... All praise to the most high for that. So um yep, yep, yep. so I'm gonna go ahead and uh before we introduce this next song, uh this is this is one of my wife's personal favorites by by you guys. Um already won by Miss Chosen. We're gonna play that in a second. Miss Chosen, what was the uh what was the inspiration behind that song? Uh really just coming from a place that I had already been. Uh, before, just um, as an artist, um, as a minister, a friend, a woman, a wife, um, sometimes people try to change you or position you or groom you into being someone that you're not, or they try to groom you into being someone that God did not call you to be. Mm. Um, and I was like, Lord, I just really want to make the song not only, you know, like upbeat, you know, and fun and <laughs> you know, some you can dance to a little bit, you know, but something that can really, you know, penetrate and touch the lives of really younger women um, that are really still trying to find themselves. So I just wanted to give that, uh, pass that mantle, pass that word of truth um, to let young women know that, look, you have already won. Um, and if you are a believer or you're coming into, you know, this walk with Christ, like you have already won. You can't, don't let nobody nothing else you know the enemy the voices the thoughts the battlefields that come and goes in our minds don't allow any of that any of that to stop you from believing that you have victory <laughs> y'all gotta be quiet because i'll keep going <laughs> <laughs> yep but just yeah. know but just know just know yeah. you yeah. already won through you everything through won. every situation all wow. praise all praise, all praise. well yeah. here it is with no further ado already won by miss chosen Stick around for a little bit more, y'all. We'll be right back. And if I'm being honest, we gon' always face a battle with another who will never get you Just be you, just be true It gets tough sometimes, baby, you got this Just put your trust in Jesus and his love will guide you
I see why they got all the smiles, man. They got all the talent over there in Harvey Z. Man, yeah, boy. That's Wait, right man. Now. Yo, mm. Harvest Indy music is most <laughs> definitely. You got my God, it. my God. Mm. <laughs> my God, so my God. something, brothers. They also play instruments. I'm the only one. No, I'm the only one. I play piano like in junior high, but I stopped lessons. I, so I, they also play instruments. I'm sorry. Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that is some awesome yeah, that's some awesome stuff i you know we can only just look forward to to what's to come with i'm i'm excited that we were able to find out about them i yo right. yeah 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 you know yeah, yeah. and what's crazy is that jol is is the cunt is the conduit between it all you right. know what i'm saying he was the conduit for for Danielle Speaks, he was the kind of yeah. for us knowing who they are as well, you know, and so, and I want to give a shout out to the Light Hebrew Magazine as well for for allowing us, you know what I'm saying, the privilege to, yeah, but yeah, this is awesome. I, I love music and you, and, and coming out of the house of Harvesty Inc., it's, it's a great sound so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to what you guys uh, are going to, you know, be bringing here in the future. Um, and anytime you guys have new music or want to come on the show, please, you and family, please reach out. Please. And say, hey, right. yo, sure. Right, right. We right. <laughs> Just let right. us know. We'll bring right. it on. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, it was a, a great show tonight. I uh, had a great time with you guys. Before we go, um, we hate that Jay didn't get to make it on with us. Um, we'll be chopping up with him soon. We've got a lot coming up. Um, but before we go, um, I'm going to just go around real quick. Can y'all just, we'll start with Harvest. S tell me one person in the Bible that you would want to spend time with. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a hard yeah, question. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're going to go home easy. We're going to get to go home easy. Jesus. <laughs> now, we got 15 minutes. We got <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one person, I want to spend time with Jesus. I mean, oh hey, I would I would love to spend time and walk with him. You know, I mean, there's a lot of great men and women of God, but he was in the Bible. He said in the Bible, brother, right? Yeah, so he, yeah, yeah. he would be who right, I would right, right. spend time with literally spend time and be one of the disciples, right. you know, let, let him, you know, teach and the parables and everything he did with his disciples. I would love to experience mm. that. Mm. You know, so Yes, yes. Yeah, that would be okay. Yeah. Masha, yeah. All right. Miss Chosen, what you got? Who who would you like to spend time with? Well, harvest of mine. <laughs> <laughs> we all gonna say Jesus. Yeah, we all gonna say Jesus. Gonna say yeah. No. 
I'm, play, I'm messing around. I'm messing around, y'all. But it for real though, it's it's very hard to pick. But honestly, who came to my spirit at the moment was David. You know, like mm. like mm. you you listen, you obeyed, and look what you did. Like that power. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now to oh. knock out a what? Mm. But like for real, like I just through all the psalms, just through everything that he's written, the ups and downs, just everything. I would definitely love to sit and spend time with him. Like, how did you? How did you hold up, man? Like, right, 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 right. Just right. so much, so much. Yeah. But I would definitely say David. Yeah. All right, Mr. Danielle, you last but not least. Who would you spend time with? We got, we got Mashiach, we got Jesus, we got David. Who, who, who you got, Miss Danielle? I would have to say Joseph. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, I would have to say good. Joseph. Good. Um, mm. it, it, I, to be locked up for doing nothing. Mm -hmm. and to be rejected by your family members that you love but they don't mm -hmm. love you like that mm -hmm. to to have to run away like physically run away from sexual temptation because mm -hmm. he had everything at his fingertips mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to then mm -hmm. be locked up be a blessing to others and have to sit back and watch them go ahead and, and be projected forward and you still sitting around going all right, God, I, know what you, I know what you call me yeah. to do but i'm mm -hmm. i'm still here i bless them and they left wow wow, wow. i want to talk to to joseph because if there's any people he went through a whole spectrum of stuff a whole spectrum a whole yes. spectrum of god showing him in a dream hey this is what's coming down the pipe. And the those closest to him didn't understand his anointing. Right. My God. Yes, right. Come on, man. Wow. Yes. I, I, yeah, want to talk to, I want to talk to Joseph about some things wow. because I'm yes. like, how'd you yes. do that? How'd you, wow. how'd you make it through it without going crazy? Mm. And, wow. and, and, and wait years because we're in the microwave generation. It's like, oh. You know, we, we want to be prophesied to a lot. Right now, uh, right, right. God's yeah, right. about yeah. to put a blessing in your hands. Like right. somebody's right. gonna give you five hundred dollars. Somebody right. gonna get me. Yeah. 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 All we want to do. All the time. All the time. That's all we want to do. But what yeah, do you? You better want? hurry up and coin that word. We gonna we we oh, gonna right. yeah prophesy. We. <laughs> Yeah, we about to we about to grab that up. You better. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I need like to just talk to me. Yeah, yeah, that's some good stuff. Them some great answers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those some great answers. Well, um, it's been an amazing, been an amazing time with you, with you all. Um, I thoroughly enjoy myself. I know, I know you have share. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Miss Harvest, Miss Chosen, Miss Danielle speaks. Have you guys enjoyed yourselves tonight? I, most definitely, I, absolutely. Yes, I, I, and I'm I'm sorry the devil was tripping switches here. And just, listen, we, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. hey, we, we persevere. You push through, sis. And I'm, yes, you did. I'm I'm thankful. Um, before we go, we're gonna play. Uh, like I said, I, I it. Yeah, we're gonna play who it is as the outro. Yeah. But before we do that. Miss Harvest, how uh, how can we find y'all's music? Is it on all platforms? Where do we go to get y'all's music? And how do we get you on social media? Yes, we're on all platforms, brother. Everywhere. You can go to the website, www.harvestegy.com. Um, we're on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, all of that, at Harvestegy Music. Dot com so it's www.harvestgmusic.com as well as social media platforms at harvestgmusic.com you can go to any one of those platforms and also be linked and find all of our artists all of their music as well and i would like to also mention this as well we're about to go on an outreach tour this summer we're currently mm -hmm. doing a fundraiser for that the outreach tour we're going to be touring orphanages tdcj uh jails um, youth groups, youth ranches, etc. We're going in to minister not just in music and song, but we're also bringing in hygiene packs, clothes, Bibles, whatever the institution is saying that they're needing. So if you're out there and you feel led by the Holy Spirit to be a blessing and to be the feet of hands, and, uh, the hands and feet of Jesus, and to actually, you know, do that, please also consider supporting and donating um, either some items or money. But you can also see that on our website for more information about that. Or if you have a facility 
that you would you think we should go to on referrals to reach out to us so I can reach out to them and see if we can come in as well to be a blessing and a minister. So, um, but yeah, you can find us harvestmusic.com and on all platforms, Harvest Your Music. You heard it. You heard it here. Truth be told, Flex Podcast. Yep. RB Hook. RB Hook Podcast. We'll be back. Like I said, we're off next week. But we have uh, Jamel the Trunk Rattler coming up. He's got a new release. Uh, him and JOL again. Yeah. Uh, Red Mind right. Mixtape Part Two. We also got Big Yomi, uh, Big Homie Yerp coming up. So yes, again, shouts out to you, Miss Chosen, Miss Harvest, Miss Danielle Speaks, JOL Judah for uh, coming on tonight. Our best edge of music. Mm-hmm. We're looking for more from you guys. And we're going to say peace. Lay anything sure before we before we head out. Nah, this has been great. Ladies, we thoroughly enjoyed you. And we hope that we have treated you guys well. Can't wait to hear more coming out of the sound of, you know, out of the house of, uh, of Harvesty um, music. We can't wait. Um, we're going to have to get Jay on here, man. We I'm, Tell Jay, tell Jay we're gonna beat him up. But no, I do understand he had business though. <laughs> Jay, we're gonna put a knot nah, upside that head. <laughs> How many lumps? One or two. I had uh Daffy Duck used that uh uh ask bug buddy. All right. It's all good, man. Oh um, praises. And the family enjoyed it as well. Looking at the chat, everybody enjoyed it. Everybody. So yes, all praise. All right. Y'all got it so good. Love you. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Shalom. Perfect. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. Thank you. Love y'all. Yes, y'all be good. We'll be back next week or the week after. Week after. We got to. All right. Blood to put life in the pain. Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who done said he gon' save the lost? Who done said that he's so unique? Who done said that he loves the song? Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who done put the flow through your lungs? Who done said that we need to see? Oh, it's on now. Who done said that we give all praise to the king? The king back, no TIP. His name is Shadow Real GOD. He's the one, no CeeLo Green, and he still remains on TOP. Serve him to VDIE. Streets of gold, I pray I see. He gave his life to get his VIP. So don't trip, I don't want you to be like me. But follow me as I follow him. Shine the lights, don't keep it dim. I said before, make a choice tonight so everlasting love can be inside your life. Almighty, great Messiah. Not a joke, he a great provider. Lacking much, he a great supplier. And he stays on the job, he will not retire. In his name, we kept the trust. Keep it cool, no acting up. Jeremiah 29 11. He knows all the thoughts that he had for us. We just gotta keep believing. Black your ears from the evil people. Some worse than the crooked cops. Watch out, your own people could be the people. Y'all still remain in charge. God be the king and his name is large. Up in heaven with his feet to the earth. Much harder than the first that stumped the yard. Lie never, he's all truth. Love the elders and all of you. Waking up is what you need to do. Get the word when you need the truth and let's read. Now I gotta get back in it. Back, drop some more facts in it. Facts in Keeping it. the king first. You have been forgiven to get past the fence. And I apologize for the soul. You need to answer the wake up call. Close peace, got away from the storm. Gotta be strong while it keep me calm. Lately I've been disappointed. Many times I got done dirty. Show love, show respect. But in the end, it still chose to hurt. But I gotta look past that hurt. Keep going, gotta move past that dirt. I don't have to be the king of the south, but I'm still a king because. I know my work. my work Work hard and I pay my dues They wanna play me like I'm scared to lose But I'm still cool You ain't heard the news Paul Vester G I made a major move Working with him No accident Seeking wisdom No accident The time is now to recognize their truth I'm striving to learn as I'm rapping this I don't care about rocking stages Still rocking with the rock of ages I stand See me running with the king I'm a rep by the Nile who I got the praise In his name I'm supposed to hide Being honest I'm revoking lies Revoke. Go hard for the audience of one That's all praise to the most high Who that said they gon' save the law who done said that he's all you need? Who done said that he loves us all? Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who that breath to flow through your lungs? Who no. that that we need to see? Who ain't blood to put life in our veins? Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who done said he gon' save the lost? No. Who done said that he's all you need? Me. Who done said that he loves us all? Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who that breath to flow through your lungs? No. Who done said that we need to see? Who ain't blood to put life in our veins? Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who done said he gon' save the lost? No. Who done said that he's all you need? Who done said that he loves us all. Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who that breath to flow through your lungs? No. Who that that we need to see? Who ain't blood to put life in our veins? Yeah. We give all praise to the king. Who done said he gon' save the lost? No. Who done said that he's all you need? Who done said that he loves us all? Yeah. We give
give all praise to the king. Who that breath is all through your lungs? Who the sight that we need to see? We ain't blessed to put life in our veins. Yeah. We give all praise to the king.